I use the move brush all the time. It's great for grabbing parts of a model and pushing them around. But there's a special setting that I use on a regular basis that makes the move brush even more useful. Let's take a look at how it works. So if you don't have the move brush active, you can get to it by using the keyboard combination B, M, V. And with this, you could grab different parts of the model and move them around. You could bring the wings down, for example, or you could grab part of the head and reshape it a little bit. But there's some disadvantages to using it right out of the box like this. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo this. Now, let's say I want to reposition these wings. So I could try to use the move brush to try to pull the wings down a little bit, but you see it's not quite giving me really nice results. It's kind of a little bit lumpy and it's hard to get these wings starting to point downwards. So let me undo this and show you a different way we could go about this. So let's go to the brush menu and open up curve and turn on something called AccuCurve. Now what this does is it makes the effect of the brush very strong in a very sharp point in the middle of the brush and then have a smooth fall off. So now if we grab the very tip of this and pull it down, you can see that the shape of it is bending down more. We could even try to grab this a couple more times to really get a nice soft bend on that. There's another way this brush can be used and it's by pulling a spike straight out. So let's zoom in on his head here. And I'm going to shrink the size of the brush a bit to be more appropriate to a spike. And what we can do is just pull straight out. So it's kind of giving him horns. Now let's compare this to what it would look like without AccuCurve turned on. I'm going to hit Control Z, go to Brush, turn off AccuCurve. And what you get is kind of more of a round bump. So let's undo that, go back, turn on AccuCurve. Let's give him real horns here. And what you can actually do is kind of pull more than once to kind of give those horns a little curve to them. All right, looking good. And then another interesting way you can use this is by holding down Alt while you use it. So I'm going to hold down Alt and just click and drag. And what this does is it causes a spike to shoot straight out from the surface of wherever you have the cursor when you're using it. So you could really go crazy here, give him spikes all over his back, not that you would necessarily want to do that, but you have the option, you could do that if you want. One thing that's interesting to do is you can actually change the shape of that curve. So let's go to Brush, Accu Curve, and we can edit the curve. So you can see we've got kind of a soft curve on that spike, but if we go like this, we'll even get a spikier curve. Now I use this mode all the time, so I like to put it in my main interface. So let's go to Preferences, go to Config, Enable Customize, and then what I'll do is go to Brush. I'm going to hold down Control and Alt and click and drag, and bring this out into the main interface. And Maybe I'll actually put it here instead. Okay, we'll go to Preferences, turn off Enable Customize, and then we will store the config so that we have that AccuCurve button on our interface by default every time we start up ZBrush. Now instead of going through that menu, I can just turn on AccuCurve here or turn it off at will. Once you see how powerful AccuCurve is with the MoveBrush, you'll want to use it on everything, I promise.